What's going on guys? I've got here a 2009 Hyundai Accent and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the two different fuse boxes. I'm gonna show you how to access these fuses and we'll go from there. So to begin, we're gonna head under the hood. On the driver's side, there's a fuse box cover here. We remove this by pushing in on this tab here and lifting upward. And if we flip over the fuse box top, we can read all about the different fuses and the relays here on the back side. I'll go ahead and point out to you the identification of the different relays here. So we'll start with the radiator fan. Uh, we've got three radiator fan relays, fan one, fan two, and the radiator fan relay here. Uh, we've got an AC relay, fuel pump relay, starter relay. This is our main relay. And we've got a blower motor relay and a horn relay here. And uh, for the fuses, keep in mind there is a included fuse puller here that you can use to pull these fuses out. So I've just got one pulled out here for you. I just pulled out this 20 amp fuse. I wanted to show you what a good fuse looks like. You can see this is uh, clean and unbroken. It's not popped in any way. So uh, you should see the nice little U shape in there if the fuse is good. Now we've got another fuse box that is inside the car. So let's take a look at that one. Over here on the driver's side to the left of the steering wheel. So this one's real simple. Got this cover here, we just pull it out like so. It'll hinge downward like this. And again, we can read all about the different fuses here. And uh, looking inside, those are the fuses. Pretty straightforward, pull straight out. The only weird ones are these two fuses off to the right hand side. Um, you can pull them out slightly. Uh, basically this whole yellow piece has got to come out. So that just clicks in there. There's a clip at the top and a clip at the bottom. So this whole assembly comes out like so. But yeah, I hope that this video is helpful for you or at least a good starting point in troubleshooting some electrical issues. Uh, there's your OBD diagnostic port for reading your check engine light codes. Uh, I do have a lot of other videos on this car that go more into depth about different things like the starter circuit, uh, the radio, things like that. So be sure to check out my other videos if you have any more in-depth questions, and thanks for watching.